quite a long time ago, a year ago, uh, was aware of the uh, coming armistice anniversary, the centennial anniversary, and so I arranged with Bob Bacon, our master of the chimes, to make sure that we rang the bells at 11 o'clock on the 11th of November. Uh, subsequently, I found out about the bells of peace. Someone was in touch with me and said, uh, when did you hear about this and decide to ring your bells for the armistice? I said, well, we actually, we've had this plan for a very long time, and so we're glad to connect with that, uh, with that initiative. When you talk about the history of veterans in this church, you're going back a long, long way, because in our churchyard, which dates to 1695, we have uh, veterans of every war buried here, uh, the American Revolution, the War of 1812, and the Mexican War, the Civil War, and so forth. We have in our church the uh, memorial tablet for all of those who served in the First World War, including two parishioners who died, including Captain James McFarland, the local Legion post is named for him. Franklin Dollier was uh, a native of Burlington, and he, the, the Dollier house was nearby on Wood Street. During World War I, he served in the armed forces, and then after World War I, uh, he was instrumental in the founding of the American Legion. He was the first national commander of the American Legion, and he's buried in our churchyard. As you know, there are no surviving veterans of World War I, and World War I, such an uh, enormous conflict has to some extent faded from our national consciousness and I think it's very important. I participate in the Veterans Day service uh, on Armistice Day, Veterans Day, every year here in town and I felt it was very important to recall this anniversary and to take the opportunity to recall the enormity of that experience on Europe, on our nation, and on the world.